Hey YouTubers, Makita Evil Mage here, and today I'm going to show you guys how you can make a Windows XP unattended installation using a program called Nlight. What you're going to need for this is uh, what you want to do is create an empty folder, install the program Nlight, uh, have an ISO file from Windows XP, of course, that so you want to be uh, automated, so unattended, and you want to use a program called WinRAR or another program that you can use to extract. Um, extract the ISO file into the empty folder like this. Just right click it if you have WinRAR and say extract to and select the folder you want it to extract to. So in this case it's this folder and you, you gotta wait till it's extracted obviously. Excuse my Dutch <laughs> interface here. Try to translate this. Uh, next thing you want to do is open up Nlight. Select your language. So for now, I'm just going to do English for the uh, tutorial here. Uh, and just browse for your folder where you've extracted the installation files to. So in this case, this is this folder right here. Uh, click OK. It's going to take a couple of seconds to load. Click Next. And this is probably going to be empty. So I'm not going to use any of this. So just Next. Uh, what you want to do here is just click unattended installation and we're going to make an ISO file out of this so in the end so I'll just click here see the green um, ball thingies at the left here just click next next thing we want to do is here set this to fully automated uh, let's see there's been a while um, I want to skip this Computer type, just leave it on automatic, and you want to input your uh, product key right here. And if you put in the wrong product key, it's not gonna work. It'll probably say an error message, and you have to input it manually, and then the rest will be automated as well. Uh, I think that's it. Uh, wait, wait, let's go back to here. I don't want to do anything here. Uh, we'll look at this. What's a password? No, that's just fine. I'll just leave it at this. So it makes just one admin account. It calls it administrator. So you can put your full name here, organization name, work group, computer name, domain name, whatever you want. Another language. I'll just keep it on English for the uh, installation here. So I'll be able to show you guys. You can choose here. Uh, custom, your keyboard layout settings, your location. So in this case, um, no, it's not there. Um, Netherlands, there we go. <laughs> this is my location. Wait, this is a look, oh, localization, uh, whatever. Yeah, just uh, select your locations here. Apparently, oh wait, there we go, Dutch. Uh, your time zone, this is, after you've input all this, it's going to be automated. Just click next. Owner's full name and a fully unattended setup. Okay. So it needs a full name. So for this, I'm just going to go for Makeda Evil Majan, I guess. Let's click next. Uh, here you want to click yes. Here it says yeah. That means yes in Dutch. So now, um, now we created the unattended installation. So I just looked up some stuff, and once you get to this screen, what you want to do is edit the file. Uh, just go look in the folder that you've created. I go look in a search bar and type in w i n n t dot s i f. What you want to do is edit this file. So I'm just going to uh, um, open with, uh, in this case I'm going to open it with Notepad++, I guess. Or see if I can actually just, I, yeah, should be able to open this with Notepad or Notepad++. I've already made an unattended installation. I've changed some things in this setting before making the ISO. So after you've completed making the file, so when you get to this screen, you want to edit the file called winnt.sif 
Uh, what you want to do is, um, uh, wait, let's see. Uh, auto partition from zero to one, and or two more lines here. What I did was create a file system. It is converted to NTFS, and standard it says file system is you know just a star. So I'm gonna yeah convert it to NTFS. And the other was repartition. Yes. So in this case, it's gonna be a unattended installation um, that uses the entire hard drive as one partition. What you want to do after that is just save the file, of course. And you can close it off. Uh, I'm not gonna do that one. Next is you just click next. Make sure it says here to create image. If you want to use the image, or you can just directly burn it to a CD. But in this case, I'm just gonna, you know, make the image. And you can you can do whatever label you want. Just go win XP on attended uh, source back to whatever you want. Just click my make ISO. Uh, in this case, I'm going to do desktop, just call it winlight.iso, and it's going to save that. This should take a couple of minutes, depending on your system. I'm using a solid state drive, so this goes a lot faster. And after that, you can just close off um, and light, and you're done. You just click next, finish, whatever, just close the program off, and that's it. I think. Yeah, just let me. Go back to desktop here. And here it is, winlight.iso. If you want to see this working, uh, I've already created a video where you can see the entire unattended installation. Unfortunately, it's in Dutch, but you get the idea. Everything's automatic. Uh, that's it. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. Also, subscribe if you like these videos and you want to see more videos like this. And like if you like this video. And by saying that, I say, have a great day.